Oh god. I definitely almost just fell over. <laughs> okay, so um a couple things I wanted to say here. Uh the first thing, Candace Owens just made a video about how she's a Karen. Um and I just wanna say I agree. Candace Owens is a Karen. Like Here's the thing. Um, people always think that when there's some negative connotation that's attached to you that you should change. That's not the case. Like, there's just always someone who's going to... Like, if I say I'm wearing a blue shirt, there's a whole community of people out in the world who hate blue. And so they're just going to be like, fuck her because she's wearing a blue shirt. So, yes, Candace Owens is a Karen, and you can live with it or you can live without it. Like you don't have to follow her channel or like her. And that goes for really everyone and anyone in the world. Second thing, Nagan has a new video out where she's talking about putting herself first and the full cup theorem. I just want to kind of give a brief, maybe I'll make a longer video on that, but very briefly, the full cup theorem is, is, is this idea that like as a human person, especially a human woman, like you actually have to put your own survival and your livelihood above anyone else, including your husband, your significant other, like everyone. You can only give what is like overfloweth, as in like when you have extra things, then you can help other people. But if you don't have anything extra, you're not in a position where you can help anyone else yet. Okay, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about me and sports players, sports men. I don't know what the fuck it is, but, like, I feel like I attract them, like, white on rice, like, bees to honey, like, Beyonce to money, or, like, Cardi B to thoughtism. It's just, like, it follows me, like, the fucking plague. And, um... I don't know what I did to deserve this. Um, because, okay, here's this, there's this weird thing amongst women, right? Where, especially I see this among young women and it's so strange. Like, to the women who want to be girlfriends, wives, mothers in partnerships and start families and stuff, here's the thing. Like, what some other woman is doing has fucking nothing to do with you. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. The only thing that has anything to do with you is like the dude who you're interested in, the dude who you're dating, the dude who's marrying you. Because here's the thing, like, I've made so many other videos about this. What is valuable in society? Shit that men spend money on. Men are going to spend money on women. I can't remember. Oh, I was watching um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, which we could go on rants about this. I was watching Breakfast at Tiffany's and Breakfast at Tiffany's and uh, Fame. So Fame is this really interesting movie about art school, but we'll I'll also save that for another another video. Um, but the point is, there's a made man, and that basically means he's a man. I'm sorry, he's not a made man. He's like a man who's being taken care of by a rich woman. So there's a woman who's married to some other rich man and she doesn't like love him at all because he's like old and ugly, but she uses some of the fun that she gets from her rich husband to like literally pay for the apartment of this like hunky stud that she likes. And he's a main character in the film. What I'm saying is like, I know that there's all these women that they like to be like the first wives club or whatever. Um, and that's fine. I mean, I guess women have to have something to chitter chatter about. The problem is like a lot of the women who find themselves to be like a part, a member of this, like a member of this, I don't know what the fuck that noise is, but it's getting on my nerves. Um, so the the women who find themselves to be a part of this like wives club, they are othering women who they deem to be like not a part of the wives club. The problem is like we have one society. So like um, they're like, oh, she's a this and she's a that or she did a this or she's a she's a slut or she's a ugly or she's poor. Or she's not educated. Like, whatever the thing is that the current little brats are talking about. In reality, none of it actually matters. And the, the, I've, I've just been on the receiving end of the gossip, like which is why I feel like I relate so much to like the new Taylor Swift album, Midnights. Taylor Swift is talking in, in the album Midnights. She is talking from the perspective of like the woman who kind of like w was in the relationship and was like 
the relationship wasn't going very well. She's not talking about other women. It's always the women who are like not in the relationship at all, who are all gossiping about the other women. They're, oh, she did this, then she did that, ha ha ha, she did this. And then the women in the relationships are talking about the relationships, okay? So be the woman who's talking about the relationships because you actually have a relationship, right? Like you actually have men that are talking to you, that you're talking to, that... I don't know, cause fucking something to happen. Um, I saw a video by this girl, Zoe Unlimited. Well, I didn't actually watch the video because I already know what this bitch was talking about. But she's like, I've never had a boyfriend. Like, that's supposed to be some get up or like some like one up it. Be serious here. Like, um, we all have been to high school. OK, like and there's no in reality, like. The hot people, the attractive people, the wealthy people, the popular people, they're in relationships. They're like best friends with the other hot people. They're like going out with the other hot people. There, There's interactions happening here amongst the attractive people. So all she's saying is like, I'm unattractive and like non-desirable. That's what the video is saying. I mean, that is a perspective to have, but I would just encourage other people to not maybe like strive for that, like, you want to be the person who's like unattractive and undesirable, I guess. And you're flaunting that on the internet, girl, I guess. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's another thing, I guess, that we have to put into perspective. Like, on some hands, it could be like a positive thing that she dodged a lot of like losers by like not entering relationships with people who she deems undesirable. But at the same time, like, if she's actually straight and she's, like, you know, interested in partnership, like, the only way you're going to figure out partnership and relationships is by, like, having relationships. So, I don't know. Maybe she's saying she's not interested in a relationship, except every fucking video that I've seen of her. Uh, I don't watch all her channel, but, it, like, she's always talking about relationships and, like, interactions with dudes and stuff, so... <laughs> another thing I just want to say here like I, I think there are certain things as like relationship politics but honestly I would encourage you as a black woman to like not participate in that bullshit because it, it's just like here's the thing if you aren't married you're single you could be in a 10 year situationship a 40 year girlfriend if you are not married if there is no ring on your left hand like okay here's my right hand here's my left hand this is the ring finger right there there ain't no diamond on it all right that means i am not married and i'm single everyone else in the world who you see who doesn't have a ring on that fucking finger is single they can say they can talk all the shit oh i'm i'm in the stay-at-home girlfriend i'm the blah blah blah, blah. i'm the baby bobby it doesn't fucking matter because legally the only reason that you're in a fucking marriage is about like finances, resources and inheritance. That's it. And so uh, the other thing that's really funny is like poor men talking about marriage as though it's something to strive to. Monogamy is a word and it basically means that you are having a relationship with only one person. Monogamy and marriage are not the same thing. <laughs> Hopefully people in marriages are monogamous. But. I mean, there are also people who are, like, not in, uh, it's very difficult. People who are not in marriages who are monogamous. Monogamy simply means sleeping with one person, being in a relationship with one person. One, one. Mono means one. Polygamy just means having relationships with multiple people. So if you're in a hoe phase and you're, like, sleeping with multiple people, you are polygamous. That's what it means. Like, if you are literally talking to one person and being in a relationship with one person at a particular point in time, then you are monogamous. That's what it means. That has nothing to do with marriage. Now, here's the thing that's very strange to me. Um, there's this thing with the sports players where they have this idea. They're like, I want to hook up with girls. I want to hook up with beautiful girls. I want to be around models and beautiful women. But the thing is, like, it really feels like all they want is the sex. And it's like a very temporary sex. Cause they're not, typically they're not even very good at the sex. 
So they're saying these things. I want the sex. I love the sex. Oh, the sex. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. I just want to fuck her. I'm trying to fuck something. Like, literally, I was talking to a guy the other day who literally said that. He's like, I want to smash something. Now, I'm not mad at dudes whose head is in the gutter and all they think about is, like, smashing. Like, I get it. Sometimes, like, you just need to, like, get it get it off or whatever. And you need to, like, do the do. Um, I do understand there's some women who are not going to feel me on this because you guys have had extremely boring sex lives and you just don't know anything. So this conversation is not for you. Tune out, turn off, whatever. But to the women who like have actually had good sex, who have a Lilo and who have actually had orgasms before, like I'm talking to y'all right now. And like these dudes are like they're really bugging because like and some of like I work with some of them and it just gets on my fucking nerves. Like they literally Every night, the whole goal is, like, find a hottie and smash a hottie. But it's, like, every night. So imagine that. Like, 365 days of the year, they are trying to smash, like, that many women. Like, that's, like, the whole goal. Like, they wake up in the morning, like, I'm going to smash another hottie today. And a lot of them actually do. <laughs> like, it's just, maybe she's not, like, a 10, but the, um, they'll just go down the ladder to zero. I feel like Abba and Preach just talked about this, where Abba was, like, yeah, basically, like, I don't post a lot of my old girlfriends because they were ugly, but, you know, I was with them and, uh, like, he was still in relationships with them. So, like, the glow, the, that's why people are talking about, like, this glow up situation where, like, you could maybe be, like, a four or a one or whatever your, like, little number is. And then all of a sudden you kind of, like, get hot. You look better. You're hotter for whatever reason. And now people want to, like, smash you. But then there's other people like me second the god or something it's like we were you're already pretty like so you don't need to you don't need to do shit to like be better like you're, you already have like all your pretty tokens and it's more like how you want to utilize them in the world and i wish like more average women would like take a seat for a second and be a little more pragmatic about like where you are in the world like if you're in a relationship and you're you have your pretty tokens or whatever girl do you like we are all happy for you but if you're not and this is the part like you don't have to feel sad or bad or misunderstood or ugly or taken advantage of if you were the person who is like simply not in a relationship with someone else when like no one is presenting kind of like a plausible option for you how can i put that in more uh concrete terms like If someone is offering you bullshit and then you're like, I don't want bullshit, that's okay. Like, that's a perspective that you can have and you don't have to accept the bullshit. Just be like, no, thank you. And move along with your life. But also, if you like, okay, here's another thing. Like, I was working a shift, right? And there was this guy. This guy was like really hot. He was like six, seven. He was like, he looked kind of like Usher, but maybe like, two shades lighter and he had like a better bone structure this guy was sexy as a motherfucker and like i so i sit him at the table and my whole job was like to do laps basically around the the bar um and this dude is like he is eyeing me down like he is like literally winking he's kind of like smiling he is like staring like bro he is watching me all just watching me down okay and I'm like okay so this dude must want to like get it in and I'm not like he's trying to do something and I was just in a point like I I don't like I'm not interested and the reason that I'm not interested is because like I don't want to be another stroke in his book I don't like that I want to feel special even if it's not special, I want I want to feel special. Like I want to feel like the time that you have with me, when you are with me, I am a gift to you. Because I I am a gift. And you don't have to believe it. And if you don't believe it, fuck you, leave my channel. But um I have a full cup, is what I'm trying to say. Like I'm not out there searching for other people to fill my cup. I have a full cup. And like, I have, <clears throat> I have things to share because my cup is like overfloweth, right? And I wish that other people saw that like that overflow, you it's like, it's just overflowing. Like, like this is why I have the, the capacity to make YouTube videos. I actually have shit to talk about and like experiences to share and like knowledge to give. <laughs> 
because I've like actually lived through shit. I've actually like done shit. So like that's why what I'm saying is not bullshit. I'm not like making it up off a whim. Like I'm literally telling you guys shit that like I have personally been through. You don't have to like it or agree. But also like it happened. (laughs) Anyway, so that I mean, that's just like a very short rant. But I wanted to say that I want to say that. (laughs) 